In this tutorial, I'll guide you through the process of creating a new user on the dashboard. Open the dashboard and select customers from the menu. A drop down will appear. Click on add new user. This will be used to connect the client to the router. For example, you can use demo. Enter the full name of the customer. Enter an email address. This is optional. You can use something like example at gmail.com. Phone number is mandatory. It helps in communicating with the customer by sending text or WhatsApp notifications. On this password form, you can either use the autofilled password or set your own one. For hotspot users, kindly use 1234 since this password has already been preset in the login page. The password will also be used to log into a customer portal. Enter the location of the customers, for example, Nairobi. Only enter this if the user is a static, static IP user. Leave it blank for hotspot or PPOE users. Select the appropriate service type. Choose hotspot if it's a hotspot user or use PPOE if it's a PPOE user and static if it's a static user. If the service type is PPOE, remember um, to add the PPOE passport. For example, demo. Choose the customer's router, although right now it's optional. This will become a must for future updates. On this part, you can either search for the precise location of the customer or if you are creating the account on site, it will automatically pick up the technician's location. On the attributes, add, uh, only, or add any additional information about the customer. For example, you can add a router, router like tender or the MAC address of the equipment. After filling all of the details, click save. Key points to remember. Service type. Always correctly set the service type. Hotspot, PPOE or static. Customer's router, choose the router correctly. IP address, only required for static IP users. Username. This should be the same as the name used to connect the customer um, to the internet. It will also be used for payments where the customer enters his username and their account number. By following these steps, you will successfully create a new user on the dashboard. Thank you for watching and in case of anything, don't hesitate to contact us.